Pope Francis changes Catholic Church law to criminalize sexual abuse by priests. A Vatican official from the Pontifical Council for Legislative Text says the new measures are more complete. There was always a critic that abuse of minors was seen as an offense against special obligations, the celibacy or the vow of chastity. Now these delicts uh, find themselves in a new title, offenses against life, dignity and liberty of persons. EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn gives us the main points of this change in canon law from Rome. The major change to the law is the recognition that adults too can be victimized by priests who abuse their authority. And the Vatican has now officially criminalized the grooming of minors or vulnerable adults by priests, including compelling them to engage in pornography. This is the first time that the church law has officially criminally recognized some of the methods used by sexual predators to build relationships with their victims. The new laws also remove much of the discretion that had long allowed bishops and religious superiors to ignore or cover up abuse, making clear that they can be held responsible for omissions and negligence in failing to properly investigate and sanction offending priests. And the law extends to cover not just priests, but also founders of lay religious movements or even church administrators. Now, as lay people cannot be defrocked, penalties include losing their jobs, paying fines or being removed from their communities. Pope Francis said these changes were for, quote, the restoration of justice, the reform of the offender and the repair of scandal. The new amendments of the canon law go into effect on December the 8th. In Rome, Colin Flynn, EWTN News Nightly.